We're sorry, kiddos, you had to go to school today. Also, <laughs> some school systems went a little bit late, but hey, looking outside right now over downtown Baltimore, and of course, it's, it's a lot lighter and a little nicer than it was a little earlier. Indeed. I guess they didn't turn, was it, pajamas inside out is what yeah, makes it snow yeah. so you don't have to go to school. <laughs> didn't work. Well, I actually went to a school today, and the first thing that they, they yelled at me was, Where's the snow? <laughs> well, why don't we have a snow day? And yeah, like you're responsible. I, I only take credit when the weather is good. So <laughs> I didn't take credit for this one for sure. But we are not dealing with any more snow. Although we did have a little measurable snow this morning. It scooted out of here pretty quick, and it left behind a dry and breezy forecast for the rest of your Wednesday afternoon and temperatures struggled because of this cold front that swept through. Temperatures really didn't get out of the 40s today, which, you know, for this time of year, that's actually closer to normal. We've been spoiled and that's why the 30s feel a little extra colder. It also might be the fact that we've had winds coming out of the north and northwest throughout the day to actually make things feel a lot colder than the actual temperature. And that has been carrying with us throughout the day today. We've been consistently going a little bit lower for what it feels like over the past several hours into the next several hours. Doesn't look like we're going to break into the teens for central portions of the state, but boy, it's going to feel pretty close to it. And this is all thanks to some Arctic air that made its way on over. We are actually on the better end of it. I mean, we could be Florida, but we're not. So we're dealing with this cooler batch of air. But New York, uh, even portions of Pennsylvania, a lot colder than we are. So we're actually scooting by pretty close to average for this time of year. We'll have another batch of that cold air, as we just saw, sweep through going towards the tail end of this month. And remember this graphic. And remember it when we look at the next seven days, because you will notice when we are getting that cold batch of air and when we're going to recover from it. Over the next several hours, we're not going to see a whole lot of activity into your Thursday. We'll have another cold front sweep through. And, well, here we go. It's going to be windy for your Friday. Temperatures really starting to bottom out. This is going to be our coldest day with the 30s for our daytime high. Not really feeling like it. We're going to bottom out in the teens before we get to your Saturday. From there, we will improve. We will see the 50s move back into our forecast, but we have a few winter days to get through. Looking like the 4th and 5th of this month are going to be brutally cold. Bundle up, break out the winter gear, but thankfully, you won't need it for terribly long as we head into next week. Back to you.